Hi, everybody. Marianne Markowitz for this month's second or third installment of Healthy Boundaries. In today's session, think of it as learning Negotiating 101, which is just one of my favorite topics. Although a firm no may not be the most fitting at times, maybe think of it as a polite no. And what we want to think about here, and please bring out your journals, because you know I love us writing things down. It just helps us incorporate it into our mind and our body. And then when you go and look at your notes, half an hour, two days, three days later, it's like something else will come in. So think of our bodies and our nervous system as a garden that you're planting. And you're nurturing and developing it in a more positive, empowering way every time you use this type of self-coaching, we'll call it that, since we're not there together. So let's just say you've got a friend who um, wants to ask you for, you know, let's say going to a movie, whatever, we'll get further into that. but. Here are four nice ways to to say no. And one is just start with a gracious thank you and acknowledging their request and just let them know that you appreciate it. It's nice of you to offer. It's um, uh, thanks for asking, but I'd love to do dot, dot, dot. And again, this is this is learning to negotiate. I personally feel like so many of the ills of our culture for the last 25 years, and, and I'm sure there's a book out there for me to read on why this has happened, but um, too many people want to be just too nice, and so they don't have these healthy boundaries, they don't have the basics of negotiating, and therefore they... Um, just take in every one of those, I should have said this, I should have said that, and it starts building up like a, like a really nasty scab. And then it goes out into the collective consciousness and other people have the same scab, and then they start um, yelling about, well, I'm a victim this, I'm a victim that. Instead of just learning how to have a healthy boundary around yourself. And, you know, what's the worst case if you hurt somebody's feelings? Well, let's just not say you hurt their feelings, but what's the worst case if you say no and they take it as um, hurting their feelings? Are they really someone you need to be deep friends with, if 